everyone. We're back at it. <laughs> yeah, finally back on the road. So we actually have been on the road for a day already. Yep. Uh, we didn't do any filming yesterday. We thought we would ease into it. <laughs> uh, it's always a bit hard getting the camera out again after a couple of months. You sort of have to get over that little wave of um, feeling like a bit of an idiot with the camera <laughs> pointed at you. Um, but we are in between Colliambly and Drildry, actually on my parents' farm out here. So we had a camp out here last night, just near the pine forest here. Um, so it was nice to be out here. Yeah, it was really nice. Good little night. And uh, yeah, this trip we're heading right up to the Kimberley and yep. back. So So if you saw our prep video, you will know our route. If not, go and watch that. We'll link it up above. Um, but yeah, we'll be on the road for the next six weeks. We're doing a few legs with some friends. This first leg, we're with our mates Cam and Court, who we'll introduce you to later. You would have seen them back in our videos back in 2019. We actually yeah. met them. We met on them the, on the road, yeah. Yeah, on the other side of the country over in WA. So and We had the little Hilux. And yeah. They just bought this 79 and it was pretty fresh. So they've had a few upgrades now and um, yeah, it's a nice setup. So. We're going to go travelling with them all the way sort of to the Flinders. Yep, go through the And we're Flinders. going to explore the Flinders a bit. We've got a few things planned there. We've got a flight booked. Yep, um, over Lake Eyre because there's water in it, so... Yeah, so it should be good. Yeah. Yeah, so... Plan today is uh, we'll do a bit of driving around Matt's parents' farm just to show Cam and Court the area. And then we're heading down to the Grampian, so it's about six and a half hours from where we are at the moment. We'll go through a Chuka, they can yep. have a look at all the steamboats and also the paddle boats and... Uh, yeah. Yeah, there's okay, a lot to see around here, mm. so we'll take you along. So we're just at um, Moma Beach, uh, just near Echuca, on the other side of the river. So yeah, just going to come down here and just have a have a bit of a feed. I think we might use a barbecue. We're going to make some burgers, and it's really nice. There's so much water around at the moment. It's great to see the river chockers. <laughs> So, we made buffalo wings a few nights ago before we left. We had um, blue cheese sauce left over. So, to use blue cheese sauce, we're like, we'll make beef burgers with blue cheese sauce. So, a bit, um, a bit extreme just to use up the sauce, but I'll take it. Um, 
we are still about 40 minutes away from the Grampian. So tonight the plan is to stay in a caravan park in Halls Creek. Um, and then tomorrow we're gonna get up to a hike. Tonight we're just gonna go to a brewery in town for dinner and it's gonna get down to minus three tonight, minus five tomorrow night. So it's gonna be yeah. nice and toasty warm. Yeah. <laughs> We've uh, actually driven past the Grand Pines a lot and we've also always seen them sort of in the distance and they look amazing. We've heard really good things about them and we've never been so we're really excited that we can yeah. go. Yeah, yeah, it should be good. some hikes, but yeah, it'd be pretty fresh hiking, I think. Yeah. <laughs> so we might take you guys to the brewery tonight. We'll just see. If not, we'll see you tomorrow morning for some hikes. <laughs> uh, our favourite thing in Elsie Rain. I just love when the water comes in and just makes the car rust from the inside out. My favourite thing is when it just leaks in through the windscreen and drips into my shoe. I, I love that. It's so good. <laughs> Okay, so we've come up with a plan. We've been to the info center and also to, we spoke to the, the chef at the um, cafe. Anyway, because it is pretty average weather, we have decided to do waterfalls and a bit of a drive. There's also rock art, Aboriginal rock art in the area. So we think we're gonna do a bit of a driving loop today, um, see a few sites, go to a winery this afternoon. And then we're staying at the plantations, which is in the state forest here. And it's a free campsite, but it has all of your facilities. So we're gonna stay there tonight. Um, and then tomorrow, get up for sunrise, go to a lookout for sunrise, hopefully we get something and then do a hike tomorrow. Hopefully it won't be as misty and wet and cold. Yeah, we'll so, just try and get as much info as we can in the Grampians for you. So yeah. if you're keen to explore the area, hopefully we can show you, show you around and you have a good idea of what you can do if you yeah. want to come here yourselves. In this almighty big storm, it's now hailing. It's hailing, guys. Or oh, hail. <laughs> wow. Whoa. We just got in. This starts to hail. I'm oh, soaked. Though. I'm pretty soaked. Yeah. It's wet. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So it's only meant to. I'm glad we didn't do the big hike today because we probably would have been on the summit by now. <laughs> Imagine that. We got oh, there we and we're hailing. Miserable. And even now, like we were gonna to go to one more set of waterfalls and some rock art, but we'll just see what Cam and want to do because- uh... I reckon we might go to the wineries. Yeah. <laughs> so Grampians is also a wine region. So- Sepult's Wines, which I mean, is the- channel. Yeah, mate. This is uh, Fleet of Ohio. Somewhere in between, I reckon. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Jeez, I reckon those wineries are starting to look pretty good. <laughs> Real good. We might actually... Well, do you want to do a loop, just drive that loop we were talking about this morning and then make a beeline, sort of thing? Yeah. So it's 128, so 130. It's probably... Yeah, we're running out of time. 
Yep, that sounds good to me, mate. <laughs> so we have a plan. <laughs> and sorry, my lens is fucking up. <laughs> <laughs> So this is one uh, one issue with the 40 series is um, when it's conditions like this, the visibility out of the car is shocking. The demist is like, they don't work. I don't think they would have worked at the factory. Um, so it's got to take it real easy and just keep clearing <laughs> the windscreen. So we've just stopped at a little hut down at Mackenzie Falls to have some lunch quickly because it's an undercover area. And also just wanted to mention the forecast today was 90% chance of three mils. No snow was forecast or sleet or hail or anything. So. <laughs> or more than three mils. Yeah, yeah a lot it's, more three mils. It, there's been a lot, a lot of rain today. So anyway, we'll have some lunch and then hopefully go to a winery. <laughs> camp now so this is called plantation campground it's about eight to ten k's out of halls gap it's a free campsite there's outdoor showers uh drop dunnies they're not heated showers so you'd have to be mad keen at this time of year yeah too, but in summer it'd be great yeah. they look really cool but it's a nice really nice camp campsite yeah the heaps size of space that. so yeah in the area you want a free camp just want to do it yes um, what are we going to do now That's cam the well yeah cam and matt are getting fire started court's just got a cheese platter ready so we'll have some cheese and bickies and some wine and yeah just live the bloody good life <laughs> I feel like yeah. I'm winter up top and summer down the bottom. You are. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like you're a confused Queenslander, just doesn't actually know oh, what to do. That's not right. <laughs> yeah. what, what else should I put on my legs? Just need, like, Besides pockets. shorts. Surprise you got enclosed shoes, mate. Yeah, it's because they're orthotics. That's the only reason. If they could make orthotic thongs, they do. Be wearing them. Yeah, they well, kind of do. Well, there's an idea. Mm. Oh, shoes. Yeah, yeah. But they're not. They're not cute. Tailored to you, aren't they? Well, there's a market. Business I believe they 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 brand themselves as orthotic, but I don't think they're individualized. They're better than like thongs. Oh yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. And I'm thinking I might I might even get some. Okay. Mm. Well, wow, well, mate. Mm. <laughs> well, luckily we got that on camera. It's recording, so. Yeah, well. Yeah, well. Archie's. Uh, Archie's. Look, if you wanna um, well, reach out, you want someone to reach out, Archie's. If you want someone to, s to sponsor, um, feel free to send a pair to Cam in court. I'm right. You got 124 I'm followers right. on the gram. If you had a look at these feet, <laughs> you could do wonders. What do you got? A uh, a face radio, a a voice for print media. A voice for print media, <laughs> but you have feet for foot modelling. Feet for orthotic oh, foot modelling. <laughs> 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 
So oh. really, there's not a lot going for me at the moment. <laughs> I don't know. If you jump in the OnlyFans foot niche, maybe. Foot oh. finder. People earn a crap load of money. I know. I know, I know fans people fans with yeah, beat stuff. Yeah. It's mental. Yeah, well, anyway, yeah. Campfire chat. <laughs> foot finder. <laughs> um, so I thought I'd uh, do a quick introduction. We've got Cam and Court. They have been introduced before, I mean, years ago in the videos, but not recently. Uh, so where are you guys from? Mackay. Yeah, North Queensland. Yep. North Queensland, well, yeah, North-ish Queensland. Hmm. Yeah, we've stayed with them quite a, a few times. A lot. <laughs> a lot. It's our home away from home. It's our north home. Yeah. So yeah, how are you liking the Grampians, mate? Loving it. It's um, it's really pretty. It's quite breathtaking. Yeah, yeah. I think it's quite interesting. Yeah. It's nice, and we're heading across the Flinders, so um, these guys haven't been to the Flinders before, so we're really keen mm -hmm. to sort of show someone around the Flinders, um, you know. It'll be nice to take people around the Flinders, because we've obviously spent a lot of time there, but a lot of the time we have spent there has either been working or just doing stuff ourselves. So. Yeah, no, nice to be actually yeah. a tourist in the Flinders, so. Mm. Yeah, really, and really keen to get back to Parachilna too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. yeah. Well, we're booked in for dinner at Para, so mm. we got dinner and we got a flight as well. So that should be really cool. That should be really good. I think I'm most excited for that. Mm. Yeah, I'm very excited for the flight yeah. as well. I think it's with the finisher. Right yes, it will. It will yeah. be cherry on top. Mm. So I have to give you guys a little look around uh, their 79 as well. It's very, very, very nice. I remember I um when I first met these guys, I sort of looked at his car in a little car park, sort of. Sort of thing near Francois Perron. Yeah. And I looked at the J Max conversion on the rear and I was like, what is that? Because it just really stood out. So I'll have to give you a little look around the, the car later. But um, yeah, it's been a little bit of a slow, oh, not a slow process, but just slowly building it up to sort of be a tourer. It's a slightly more agricultural version of your friend Adrian's mm. 79. Yes. Yep. Um, oh, you got a few bits of fruit I that you wouldn't mind yeah. on the J <laughs> Yeah, the J-Max is one thing he doesn't have, but he's got everything else, but, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, we'll have to show you around. Still a few things I've got to do and to modify, and that's been a process in itself. Yeah, it always is. It takes a lot longer than you think, eh? Hey? Yeah. Yeah, like, times it by 10. Whatever you think it's going to take, Pretty times much. it by 10. Yeah. And times five the cost. I'll say, <laughs> the money Maybe pit. Maybe reverse. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah so, Cam's going to cook us up a lovely dinner tonight. Mm. Smoked trout pasta. We've got some smoked trout um, when we're in Tumut, or near Tumut anyway. Yeah, Jugion. Mm. Yep. And uh, yeah, we'll probably just sit down here tonight around the fire and have a few more beers. Yep. And wine. We've got great. some wine, wine today, yeah. obviously, from yeah. the winery. Like <laughs> wine at the Grampians. We're yeah. really battling out here. We're just <laughs> surviving. Uh, so. Just had some cheese and bickies. Yeah. I don't know if we'll make it through the night. If we don't, um, love oh. you all. It's our last vlog. The stars come out too. Yeah, if there's <laughs> no. no there's no rain, we'll be happy. <laughs> or wind. <laughs> Bright-eyed and bushy-tailed for sunrise here right at the top of the Grampians and Baruka Lookout and check out this view Wow
we parked up in the car park near Mackenzie Falls and walked down. It's quite a short walk, but quite a few stairs, like 250 stairs down. Really spectacular waterfalls. Uh, from there, you can opt to go a bit further to Fish Falls, which we've done. I think it's a 1.4K walk. So yeah, it's, it's a really stunning walk. And uh, whoa, that sun is bright. So yeah, we're gonna keep going and just see the end of this walk. Okay, so we have just arrived to Sea Lake. So we are at Green Lake uh, Reserve. So this is a camping area slash caravan park. We are here for three days. We are doing a commercial shoot with Navigator Gear. Now we have left Cameron Court. Um, they are heading to Mount Gambier and then we're gonna link back up with them in the Flinders. So today was fairly uneventful. We obviously saw the waterfalls, which were lovely but I am not feeling the best. I'm a little bit sick in the stomach. So we decided not to do the pinnacle hike for that reason. And because it was super overcast being up so high, I don't think we would have got a bit of any view, which is a bit of a shame. So Matt and I are planning, definitely planning on coming back to the Grampians, hopefully when we get a week spare, um, cause I think it's only seven hours from Truman so we can easily do it and do all the hikes then. Um, but yeah, so we're probably going to log off for now. Um, we've got quite a bit of work to do and then quite a bit of editing to do after that. But we will catch up with you guys again when we meet up with Cameron Court over in the Clare Valley. It should be heaps of fun. Um, yeah, thanks for watching this video. Sorry if it has been a bit of a muddle. Nothing went to plan. Um, the weather, obviously, we can't control. And sometimes you just get that when you travel around. You don't get the weather you want so yeah anyway we will see you in the next one if you're new here make sure you subscribe and if you have already subscribed make sure you hit the thumbs up if you've enjoyed it we'll see you in the next one mm -hmm.